a lot of owners here that own several and they'll rent them out. So they've bought as, as strictly as an investment. Correct. It's wow. a really unique uh, real estate investment. Welcome back to the harbor, guys. I'm down here at the Philippi Harbor Club with Daniel Treeman. He's a realtor at Michael Saunders, with Michael Saunders Group, and um, we're gonna be looking at some racaminiums today. Give us a little tour, Daniel. Let's go. We've got around uh, 300 slips here. And Philippi Harbor Club operates like a condominium. So you own your individual rack. You can buy it, sell it, you can rent it. You pay a quarterly HOA fee just like any other condominium and that includes maintenance on the facility, it includes the staff, it includes uh, 140 in and outs every, uh, every year and when they take the boat out of the water they'll wash the bottom of the boat for you. They have detailing on site, on site maintenance for your boat and uh, anything else you could need. Do they flush the engine? They do flush the engine as well every time uh, you come back to shore. Facility is category four hurricane rated, which is obviously one of the most important aspects of why someone would want to own here. Right. Keep I've your boat out of the elements. Yeah, I've seen over the last few years some of the hurricanes that have hit, some of these maybe lose some, you know, a little bit of metal on the outside, but I've never seen the boats inside yes. damaged. Yeah, so and this is a concept that doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people outside of Florida. It's not common in a lot of states. And so a lot of times I'll hear from people up north that have a home down here. And the fact that this is an option for them is really exciting. It's something they didn't expect. And it just gives them that peace of mind, especially if they are snowbirds, if they're not here all year, they come down three or six months out of the year, the boat is always here, safe, clean, waiting for them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. I was just looking up some pros and cons just to get an idea. And there's uh, so many pros. One, I keep my boat in a marina as well, but it's uh, a wet slip and you use the boat easily 10 times more if it's if it's at the marina and you don't have to trailer it you don't have to wash it when you're done you just take it out come back exactly. tie up the tie up the lines or here you just drop it off to the dock hands and boy this is a big building i've been in a lot of these barns and this thing is the deepest one i've ever been in i think we were looking at the numbers it's a couple of football fields long that's right so you got 300 ish units all different sizes. You've got uh, on the low end 26 to 28 foot in length. You have the 32 foot which is the majority of the ones in the first level and the middle level. Uh, the top floor has 28 and 32s and then as we get to the back there's some larger slips for a 36 foot boat with height up to 20 feet. Right and we'll talk about pricing later on but um, if you did rent a slip here which you can rent from the owners it's uh, it's not cheap so buying and owning and then eventually you know holding on to it and and then you can sell it and get your money back instead of throwing away your money right. every uh, every month yeah that's a great point the average rack here rents for between 500 and 800 a month and so the quarterly fees the HOA fees run somewhere between 550 and 650 so you can do that math. Uh, tra tra historically, these have increased in value. Obviously, we never know where the market's gonna go, but uh, it definitely can be a great investment, and we have a lot of owners here that own several, and they'll rent them out, and so uh, really? it's a really unique So they've bought them as, as, strictly as an investment. Correct, it's wow. a really unique uh, real estate investment that they can use, but they can also rent or hold, and they rent very easily, very quickly. Uh, just walking through here quickly, you might think these are smaller boats, but I mean, these are some solid boats. This is a 30-foot Grady weight, a 307 Grady. That's a beautiful boat, and that's a large boat. So these are not just little 20-foot center consoles. This is a nice Chris Craft. Chris Crafts were built, maybe still are, in Sarasota. And you Legend. mentioned how sometimes that having to trail your boat into the water, Chris. it's a deterrent to going out. Oh, and really here deterrent. it's effortless. Yeah. So you could call ahead, uh, there's a text line, so you could text an hour before and they will get your boat in the water, get it ready for you, just hop on. So it really is effortless and 
makes boating that much more fun because you don't have to worry about the prep and then the cleanup at the end. It is, it's true. And boating is a learning curve for a lot of people already. Right. And trailering, I will say, is, is probably the most difficult part. Trailering and launching and then reloading your boat when everybody is in line watching you. I mean, there's guys who have full-time channels where all they do is sit there and set up their camera and watch people attempt to dock their boat and, and launch their boat. And um, again, it just takes so much of the pressure out of it. You don't even have to worry about docking. They'll meet you out there you can throw your line as you're pulling in and they'll help you pull up to the dock. So even you know, those little anxiety producing things like uh, on a windy day trying to dock your boat, that's all uh, easily avoided by owning a slip here. Another thing I would say being a boat detailer is you would have to detail your boat three times a year, maybe four to have them look like they do being left in a barn. And it's still not gonna look the same because what happens is all of the the cushions and the black plastics and all of the gauges and the outboards, even if you wax them, you can't wax all of those things, but even if you do, they still get pounded by the sun. And after 10 or 15 years, believe me, they're looking rough. Inside of a barn like this, you could keep a boat for 30 years and literally it will come out looking very close to the day you bought it. So you're getting the investment on the rack and you're keeping your investment looking pristine. That's a great point. So I have, uh an owner that I just sold their, their rack for them a couple months ago. And they had a 28 foot boat, a 1995 Hydrosport. And he actually did not use the boat for over 10 years. So we looked at it, the leather was in perfect condition. The engine still run, the floor wasn't soft. It was really, really crazy that yeah. just sitting in here, not even running, not even moving, like you said, the boats will last. Here, these are the largest slips. And so these uh, are up to 15 foot wide, up to 36 foot long, and up to 22 and a half foot high. So a lot of different options. There's not a lot of these large slips. So they only come up every couple of years. They're obviously in high demand, but this facility can fit some really large boats. There's a beautiful offshore center console, real pretty yellow fin. And now how far out are we to, uh to get to the Gulf? So it's here. about 10 minutes to the intercoastal. And then once you get to the intercoastal, you can go north or south. South has more no wake zones. So it's great if you're tooling around with your family, uh, having lunch on the boat. If you wanna get out to the Gulf, if you wanna do some fishing, um, you're gonna go north. And it's about another 15, 20 minutes to get out into the Gulf. It's another 10, 15 minutes to get to downtown, to Marina Jack. You said you have three available currently. Correct. So currently I have a 32 by 10 wide by nine and a half foot high on the top. And so that one would run somewhere around 80, 85 K. And the quarterly fee on that would be 542 a quarter. That's the HOA fee that includes all the maintenance, the staff and uh, the in and outs in the washing of your boat. Also, I have a 28 by 10 by 14 and a half. That's on the first level. And additionally, a 32 by 10 by 14 and a half on the first level as well. And so in terms of the levels, you have advantages and disadvantages to each rack. So the top rack, nothing's gonna drip on your boat. No oil, no dirt, no water, but there's a height limit, of course. In the middle, it's kind of the best of both worlds, more or less. Um, but on the bottom, for those people that like to hop right on their boat, or maybe you forgot something, right? You don't have to ask them to forklift it back down. You could just come in, hop on your boat, get things ready to go. Or if you forget your wallet, you don't have to be embarrassed and ask them to bring it back down for you. Yeah, that's a good point. They sell ice. They've got drinks and snacks inside. There's gas on site as well. You've got out here, you'll see the maintenance racks. So you can bring in an outside detailer. They also have detailers and uh, maintenance staff that work here that can help you with anything you need with your boat. And here's beautiful Philippi Creek, really pretty creek that feeds the Sarasota Bay. And I'm a fisherman. Check out my other channel, Charlotte Harbor Fisherman, and Philippi Creek is excellent fishing, as of course is the bay. Um, but everything, you've got it right here. If you're a backwater fisherman, this is great redfish and snook fishing. And then you've got the bay is great trout, mackerel fishing. And then of course you're right there on the Gulf if you're, if you're an offshore fisherman. So this is a real, you know, fisherman's 
dream, this That's little right. spot right here. All right, let's check out the office and the locker room. Come on in. We've got drinks, snacks, coffee in here. The facility was built in 2007, so there's a, bit, a little bit of history for you. So every rack comes with the locker. So you've got three different locker sizes here, which corresponds to the size of the rack that you own. But it's great for fishing gear or an extra set of clothes, whatever you might need. There's showers in here. You've got restrooms as well. And, you know, Philippi Harbor Club is more than just a place to keep your boat. It's kind of a community. Everybody seems to know each other. Um, so it's a fun place to be, to meet people that are into boating and fishing just like you. In the locker room, we have a shower as well. Hop off your boat, throw on a clean set of clothes you've got in your locker, and head out to dinner. So there's gas on site. They can get it fueled up for you so you're ready for your journey. You pull up, the boat is fueled, ice is in the boat. We have fish cleaning stations here as well. So you can clean your catch right here, fillet them up and uh, bring them home, throw them on the grill. So how much are these slips going for? Different prices. I know they're all different sizes and shapes. The lengths here range from 26 foot up to 36 foot. Then you've got the height, and that's really the de biggest determining factor um, and the biggest limiting factor for what type of boat you can fit in here. So on the top rack, most of the slips have a seven and a half foot height limit, and they'll run in the 60s, 70s, 80s in terms of pricing currently. It, just like any other market fluctuates depending on demand, and there's a lot of demand right now. The taller slips, your average 28 or 32 foot slip that's got around a 10 to 12, even up to a 14 foot height limit, um, for your T-tops, for your center consoles. Those will range from the low 100s up to the mid 100s, so 100 to 150K. And then the big slips in the back, 36 foot, the 15 wide, the up to 20 high, they can reach the 200,000 plus range. All right, thanks. It was a lot of fun. I really appreciate the tour. Thanks for coming. And in the Sarasota area, in addition to Philippi Harbor Club, you have some other options to consider, which include Osprey Harbor in Osprey and Gulf Harbor Marina in Nokomis. If you're looking for an experienced realtor to help you with your search for boat storage or a property within Florida, you can find me at danieltreeman.com or give me a call at 917-426-8295.